Well, it's time for another episode. I've got a small project for you guys. It's a uh, trellis that I'm going to be putting in front of our chicken coop. Uh, we've planted some vines with some, you know, pretty pink flowers that my wife likes, and right now they're just growing up tomato cages and not to her liking. So we're going to be uh, kind of dressing it up a little bit. We're going to be using some pallet wood. Kind of excited about that because I have been stockpiling that stuff. I need to get rid of it, and it's kind of getting in the way. So uh, going to be cutting that up, putting it together using all free stuff we've got around here with you know the pallet wood glue nails stains stuff like that so uh, nothing i had to go to the store and buy so much but anyway i just wanted to uh, bring you along for this quick little build and um hope you enjoy it got some pallet wood here and pallet wood is uh just not good wood it's just kind of uh it's always rough when you get it and it's just kind of been through a lot by the time you know I get it here so um, it's not the best obviously to put outside it's not pressure treated or anything like that but with uh, some you know kind of polyurethane or varnish that we're going to use I'm not quite sure yet uh, it'll have some sort of protection from the from the elements so I'm going to start out with all these came from one pallet that's the thing too about pallet wood is every pallet's different they're all different types of wood grades and colors and everything so they've all been through different weather patterns so uh, I got this one all just from one palette and hopefully just going to use these three this one's got some paint marks on it so uh, I'm going to rip these down on the table saw and we'll go from there. All right, so here's here's four of them. I think I'm gonna do a set of four and four for two of the lattice structures. So I think I'm gonna do this kind of fan shape kind of deal. I'm not sure how big the fan make the fan or whatever, but you know, gotta make sure it's all symmetrical. And maybe something like that. So five inches. Five inches. Doesn't have to be exact. It's gonna warp and whatnot in the in the rain as things go on. So there you go. Five inches at the top. I think that'll be good. I'm, I'm gonna do um, probably three cross members, and I'll put them on the front face. I don't know. Just kind of winging it here. So just you know, gonna cut another one of these down so I can cut you know probably you know maybe six inches from the top right in the middle and then one at the bottom just to hold the bottom pieces together we'll cut them you know put a dab of glue on each one and then I'll see if I got a finished nail I can put in each one of them and then I'll go through it but not maybe not completely through anyway I got some uh, scrounging to do and then I'll bring you back in for the next step all right, so I've cut the cross pieces here. I think this was 18, 13, and the bottom one was six inches or so. So again, you don't really have to go crazy and make this you know, a perfect thing, but one item to get right, which I'm just kind of brainstorming here, is that these cross pieces, you're gonna want level with the ground or level with each other when you put them on. Now, when you put it and stand it up, you don't, you're not gonna want it kind of crooked or anything. So only thing I can think of is that just measure down from the top. If they're all the same at the bottom, uh, you know, we'll all wind up at the bottom. That You know, you just have to be sure you're, that's one seven inches from the top. And then you make this one seven inches from the top. Then just to be sure they're all level with each other. So, not moving that one. Let's, just, let's do 13 inches. Lucky number 13 inches again. So, so that way they're lined up and even when you look at it all set up it doesn't look like you you know only spent five minutes on it so anyway um all right we'll start gluing this and i'll put a finish nail through the middle of each one and then we'll let it sit for a while and come back and stain it all 
All right, so I have the second one built. And just like anything, when you build the second one, the second one always comes out a little better, a little smoother. So that was just a few minutes. And now I'm gonna start staining uh, the wood. Uh, you don't really have to do this step, but our chicken coop where we're putting it, a lot of the wood accents are this type of wood stain. It's just uh, gun stock is the style or the color of the stain. So for staining, I just got the, the stain itself, a rag, and I like to keep kind of a my old t-shirts and use them as rags and just keep them as a stain rag. I actually use this same rag with the same stain on the chicken coop and then a pair of gloves. Because uh, you know, using the rag the, with your hands, the glove, it's gonna go through uh, the rag and onto your hands. So, um, so I usually wear gloves unless you wanna show off at work you know, on Monday and show off that you actually do work on the weekends. Uh, you can do the stain like this and it'll stay in your fingernails and whatever. Uh, so, you know, just prove to everybody else that you actually do some work. So, but for today I'm using gloves and also um, will be uh, uh, just kind of setting this up on the table, kind of brushing off all this dust and then getting to uh, staining with the rag and uh, bring you in on that step. Okay, I have the, the first piece up here, <clears throat> the stain opened up, get my rag ready. And uh, normally on most projects, you would sand the uh, whatever you're staining next, you know, before you put the stain on. But this being an outside piece, I think it looks better when it's kind of rough and not sanded down nice and smooth and, um, you know, just kind of adds to it, I think. So I'm going to go with the uh, rough look and then just not much to it here. It's not rocket science, just, you know, rubbing the stain onto the piece so one thing to remember though is uh, you don't just leave the stain on you have to kind of wipe it down uh, you don't want to leave it it's kind of gummy on the surface if you just left the stain there so uh, again actually now that I'm doing this down at the bottom it's gonna be hard to get into the middle pieces so might have been better to have stained this before I put it all together but you know, we're just learning here. So, uh, if I built a third one, maybe I would, uh, uh, that one would be the perfect one. So, anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go through and start rubbing this whole thing. I don't think you need to see all this, it's, you know, it's not much to it. And then I will uh, bring you in when we're starting to put the clear coat on, kind of protect it for, for the weather. I have the pieces here on the table that I'm gonna use to uh, put the clear coat on. The stain's dry, it's been a few hours, and now it's time to put this clear coat. I have some exterior spar urethane, so it uh, should work. I have just a little bit left, so I think it's just enough to, to finish this off. And so I think we're gonna, um, we're gonna clear coat this, and then we'll, uh, we'll put it outside. Again, this clear coat's just to give it some protection, but uh, anything that's not pressure treated, eventually it's gonna rot outside. So uh, unless you continually put additional coats on it uh, every so often. So for now, we're gonna get this clear coated, and then we'll uh, get it outside. All right, you gonna watch me clear coat? It's clear. That's why it's a clear coat. It's kind of like brownish a little bit. Dad, I will start to help you paint it. You want to paint this? Yeah. I want to help you. Do we have a small paintbrush you can yeah. use? Yeah. I want you to go grab one. I'll help. All right, got a couple of helpers here. Remember, don't get it on top, on your clothes or your hands too much. Yep. Because the water, you know, it doesn't wash off with water. Does it? No. All right, so here they are, finished, set up. Got the trellis on either side of the front door of the chicken coop. We've got the vines here. I'm not sure what they are, but they're um, going to start growing up this now instead of the uh, tomato cages. And as I've been setting it up, the chickens are coming to say hey, so uh, I think they're interested in, in this and they approve. But again, um, you know, it's kind of a quick build, just uh, the afternoon kind of took longer to dry that uh, clear coat, that uh, uh, spar urethane. Uh, we kind of got a little heavy on the, the coat there. My boys were um, a little too uh, enamored with it and it ended up getting it all over them and 
it, it was kind of a disaster cleanup, but we got it done. It's been drying all afternoon and just got them installed. So here they are. I appreciate you sticking along for this uh, kind of a quick little uh, project. Um, appreciate you guys. And please, if you could subscribe to the channel and like this video and uh, tell your friends and relatives, whatever, tell everybody about this channel. I'm trying to start making these episodes uh, about once every couple weeks. Appreciate it.